tide is coming in. Oh, this looks like an oyster shape. Oh my goodness. This one looks like a huge one. Oh wow. This is the biggest oyster I've ever seen hiding underneath this big rock. Look at this monstrosity. Oh my goodness. This is probably like a one and a half pounder. Could be even two pounds. Sheesh. Size of my hand. Look at this. Amazing. What's up guys, one by Jerry Productions. Today I'm gonna show you how to shuck an oyster with tools that you have available, such as a screwdriver. Sometimes you just have to use what nature gives you or what you own. You don't have to buy any fancy tools. So what we have today are simple screwdrivers. You probably don't want to use a Phillips because that's screw screws. You can use a flathead, and I'm going to go with a shorter one for easier control. And a spoon, just to scrape it out of the shell. Alright, so today we have three oysters to work with. This huge one um, that I found at the beach. Now let me tell you right off the bat, you don't want to use a knife because, think about this. If you're going to open it like this, and it accidentally slip, you want to stab yourself like this. Yeah, you want to turn yourself, you might be a black belt using a knife, but you want to turn yourself into a red belt, a white belt with blood. <laughs> so, we don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to simply use this flathead screwdriver right here. I'm going to start with the big one. And what we want to do is look for the end. We don't want to look pushing, we don't want to open it with this. By the way, shuck means to peel. Shuck, not chuck, S-H-U-C-K. So I want to find the end, the rear of the oyster with an opening like this one right here. This is the opening that you see. See that? We want to stab it in here so it doesn't slip. And then I'm gonna apply some force. We want to lay this down. Apply some force and gradually pry it, pry it open. Of course, with caution. Because this is a big boy, so it's gonna fight me. It's a live oyster, so don't think it's just gonna give up. See that? Got it. Got it, boy. This is a big monstrosity. This was a uh, almost one pounder right here. We're gonna simply just open it up. Get your hands dirty. I think it still wants to fight me. Oh yeah, it still wants to close out with itself. It's a battle, guys. I don't like the UFC. All right, got open. Look at this huge thing. Look at this huge monstrosity, guys. I'm not gonna eat it raw because um, you know I don't want any uh, bacteria in there. You know, cook it. Actually, are there any pearls in there? So this is still edible. This is the foot. We're gonna scrape this off and we're gonna put it in this bowl right here. All right. We want to remove it like this. And that's the other foot. Strip it off. That's a whole oyster right here. Beautiful oyster right here. We want to continue on these other two. This one's going to be a piece of cake. I'll say it's a piece of cake. Never eat it. It's definitely a good workout. It's 
just another beautiful one, a little bit skinny right here. That's the second one. All right, here's a baby one right here. And by the way, these are fresh because I can't smell any, you know, um, oil smell, or rotten smell. And by the way, oysters can last, live up to like two weeks out of the water. So easiest to find them is probably like around uh, these big rocks that you see at the beach because it wants to hide up. By the way, check out my um, origin for survival food. I found some limpets last time and those are like snails that's edible. This is my new series of videos. Um, man, this youngster is putting up a fight. For real. It's like, I'm not going out like that. And that's the third one. I wouldn't say it was a piece of cake getting out. Let's see if there are any um, pearls in here. Nope. I don't feel any. I actually looked in the wrong area. If there was a pearl, it would be along the foot. But I don't see any. No luck this time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Take care of yourselves and happy eating. Tide is coming in. I better head back to the other side. But what do you know? I found an oyster.